Hey, welcome back to the Mellow Vibes channel. I'm Tiffany, your hypnotherapist, life coach, and creative. And um, yeah, I wanted to get back into this dating a topic because it's always been like, I was telling my best friend the other day, I was like, girl, like I try to stay out of dating mess because I'm not in that stage anymore, but it just rose me back in like the topic of it. And she's like, yeah, girl, me too. Because my best friend's married. And like I said, like we've imported our men. <laughs> so... Um, or I'm working on the importation right now. So anyway, I wanted to like share some dating tips that have helped me because even though um, like I'm not, you know, in the dating game anymore, I think Jesus, um, I never liked it. <laughs> like I was, I'm like always super intentional. I've always been super intentional. I'm that romantic Cancerian woman who like I wanted my first boyfriend to be my husband. Like that's, I was like, I didn't ever want to waste my time, right? So, um, I want to share some tips that have helped me that I really, it's not any like a strategy or whatever. It was just like me being me has, I think made my dating life pretty, um, successful or like really like not, um, at least not super painful. Like I see like other people, um, I have had a lot of, um, I would say success in attracting men. I'll say that. Okay. Uh, which has been, um, it was weird when that started happening because it started around like 17 ish. <laughs> and because I always felt like, not always, but there was a time where I felt like super unattractive um, because of, you know, beauty standards and like basically people saying it or. Or just not saying that I was attractive, you know, or being made fun of and whatever. Um, because of my color, my ears, uh, different things. My my very long limbs. I am short with very long limbs. It's like I got my mom's short body and my tall dad's long limbs. I really thought I was going to grow. I thought I was going to be able to, like, model. I mean, I have modeled, but, like, I thought I was going to be able to like, do runway. I have done it, but, like, most like, you know, low scale runway. I don't know what to call that, but <laughs> I did actually win a modeling competition. So anyway, but, um, I've been made fun of for many things. And so when I actually started to attract people, it was like, Oh, okay. But, um, I would say like my number one, my, what my first tip, I guess would be like that. I talk to men the same way I talk to women. Like I don't, some people like put on it or like I don't know if they even realize that they switch I don't care you're a person I'm talking to you the same way um I mean and I just mean that like you know it might change if I'm talking to someone in a different like rank or whatever if I talk to like a boss or something although right now I don't talk to like my boss any different way <laughs> but um but just in general like I talk to women men and I'm the same I've always had guy friends, so that's probably part of it. Like, I've had guy friends since I was really young. And, um, yeah, and then, like, my main core friends in, like, high school, like, I had several guy friends, um, you know, would hang out at their house, talk on phone, like, that was always regular for me. So I remember, like, when, like, my friends started dating and everything, they're like, I don't know how you talk to guys, or, like, it's just so nerve-wracking, I'm like... It's not a big deal. They're a person. Like, if I'm talking to you, I'm just like, damn, I just started, like, I'm bleeding right now, you know, during my period, which, facts, I started my cycle yesterday. Um, I'm saying that to my friend. And people might think it's, like, gross or whatever. And, and a lot of times, my, my friends, my guy friends would be like, okay, TMI is with me. Like, I don't need to know that. And I'm like, yeah, you do, because I'm irritated right now. Like, I do not care. So you can think whatever you want about that, but I talk to men and women the same way. Um... I'm an equal opportunist. I have always dated anybody, um, male, because I'm, I'm <laughs> that's the way I swing. But it's like racially, I don't care. Um, I, don't, I don't care. Like I, and that probably has to do with the way I, I was raised. Um, my city is super multicultural. Uh, I know when I moved to Philly, people were like, "There's white people in Massachusetts." I'm like. <laughs> I'm not white people. They're like, there's black people in Massachusetts. I'm like, of course there are. There's all kinds of people in Massachusetts. But um, 
because like the part that I live in in Philly and I lived in in Philly where my family is from in Philly is super black and so when I would go to Philly I grew up going to Philly over the summers like every summer and it's very just I it's very homogenous I was always just around black people um but my city growing up was very mixed and so I grew up with Egyptians, Cambodians, Vietnamese, um, Pakistani, uh, you know, uh, Albanians, Nigerians, Kenyans, whatever. I grew up with literally everybody is in my city, my hometown. So I, if you're attractive, you're attractive. And so like, I've always been an equal opportunist. Like, I don't care what you are. I like you. Um, which um, then goes into me being like, what has helped me is I'm bold. <laughs> I'm bold. That started around maybe 15 or 16. Like I worked a lot on myself on self-esteem. I might have videos about that. It's like how I got into self-hypnosis and stuff like that um, just to get me out of like, I, I had low self-esteem and whatever, I worked on it. I was very um, conscious about that and I wanted to change it. And that was like 12 or 13 when I started doing that. So and then I started being really bold and, and like, like, hey, like, I think you're attractive. <laughs> hey. Um, I want to talk to you. Can I get your number? Like, I would always go up to people, like, I'll be in the grocery store, and I'm like, what? Like, I remember being with one of my guy friends, and he was probably, he, the guy was probably thrown off because he probably thought I was there with my man or something. But I was with one of my guy friends. I think we had just, like, been working on recording a song. And I was like, oh, my gosh. It was, like, this guy who was, like, you could tell he was young, but he was, like, prematurely gray, and he had, like, striking blue eyes. And I was like, I was like oh, we were, like, in Whole Foods. I was like, oh, my gosh you are so attractive. I just wanted to tell you that. And he's like, oh, my. he's like, thank you. <laughs> like, I've done that so many times. And, and, people, and people are like, Why are, I can't believe you'd say that. I'm like, I'm literally making an observation and I want to let them know. That's all it is. It's not a big deal. It's an observation. I find beauty in you and I'm letting you know. And um, so <laughs> that. Um, another thing is I skip the small talk um i don't like small talk i am it it makes me uncomfortable i feel like it's a waste of, of time um and i i get deep really fast and so uh like the question oh one one question that irritated me always was um like oh what do you do like that's always like the first group of person the first question people want to ask you what do you do for work that question always irritated me now for one i will say that the, probably the first reason it used to irritate me was because like I used to, like I didn't care about what I did I didn't like what I did it had nothing to do with me but that's why it's a dumb question because a lot of people are in that situation like who cares what somebody does and I feel like you know people are judged about like what they do um and uh also it was like embarrassing for me like at at certain points of time like I worked at a restaurant for like over two and a half years and this is me coming out of like having a college degree. I graduated in 2008 with the, re you know, the recession. It was super hard to find a job. I could not, like it was super hard, which is why I moved to Philly because I barely could find anything in Massachusetts. So, um, so I'm like, a lot of you are in that situation. Like, what does it matter what somebody does? Like, like you know, I'm, I'm getting by to pay my bills and like, that's it. I ask people what their passions are. Like, what do you, like, what do you love to do? Like, what makes you smile? What makes you happy? Like, what are your goals? And, um, like, that's the important thing. That's what's going to tell you about somebody, not what they do. So, um, I, and I really like to talk about, um, you know, like just really I don't know, deeper things, spirituality, uh, you know, uh, societal things. I, I, I like to talk about what matters, um, not like frivolous things like, I, I don't know, like what's your color, your favorite color, and like whatever. Um, I don't like to waste my time with small talk. <laughs> uh, and I will say, um, I think like that is what, like not to toot my own horn or whatever to do, but like, that is what is what has made people like fall in love with me fast. I don't know if people are ever in love, but like in, or infatuated with me or something. I've had so many men be like, "Oh my gosh, I've never had a conversation like this before. Um, this is amazing, blah blah blah." And like, oh, like this is like I think you might be the one and all this stuff. And I'm like, 
it's just a conversation. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, it's just a conversation. Like, I talk to people like this all the time. So, um, I remember, like, meeting a friend of mine on MySpace. I, I still have friends from MySpace. And I was like, yeah, I was like, dudes, like, tend to fall for me. And, like, I haven't even done anything. I'm just, like, being myself. He's like, or he's like, don't worry about that with me. I was like, cool. Uh, no lie, it was maybe, like, a month or so later. He's like, like, I think you could be my wife. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, I was like, what are you talking about? No. <laughs> so um yeah like i i literally have had so many people like oh my gosh like this is the best conversation i've ever had like i i've never i don't talk to people like this and um and for me it's just like another day and it's like sometimes you know they want to like a repetition of the whole thing and it's like some things are just like lightning in a bottle like a really good conversation maybe you just have once like i remember i talked to this one guy for like four hours and um and he was like head over heels, basically. And uh, and I'll just like, yeah, like I don't, I'm not. This is probably not gonna happen again. <laughs> like, like, you know, like not like we never talked again. Like we talked all the time. Like I would see him all the time. But it's like I'm like that was just like in the moment. And this is like why my friend who ended up falling for me, not the one I mentioned before, <laughs> the MySpace friend, was like. Um, he would always call me like, you're such a heartbreaker, Tiffany. You're like, you're so lethal. It's funny how like men want to call you, label these things, or label, me, label me as a player, as a heartbreaker, all this stuff. And I'm just like, I like this is not my fault that I'm like having a conversation with somebody and they then start to like me or think that I'm their person or whatever. I'm just, I'm telling them like, I see you as a friend. This is not gonna happen. Like, I, like we're just talking. <laughs> And I remember, I remember really being like, do women not talk to men? Like, I don't see what the big deal is. So have conversations with these men, <laughs> please. Um, so uh, that's my other tip. Um, another tip, yeah, I'm honest. I'm really honest uh, and quickly uh, honest about a blunt about what I want and what I don't want. Um, I don't want to waste my time, and I don't want I don't want anybody wasting my time. I don't want to waste anybody else's time. It's like I want this, I want that, I want that. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. This is my boundary. Um, I don't kiss on the first date. I probably am not gonna kiss you on the second. Date. Actually, I'm not gonna kiss you until I know we're like a thing. Like <laughs> so, uh, I'm not gonna do this. Like this is what I want. I'm looking for this. Like I was always intentional. Like I I'm dating to be married. Dating is not fun. I'm dating because I want to find the person I want to be with. And like, I am upfront about that and people appreciate that. And if they're not with it because that's not how they date, they at least respect me for that. And they're always like, yeah, I respect that. Like, it's not for me, but I respect that. And um, I'm an active listener. Uh, listening is important. I, and it's easy for me to listen, maybe because I was always an observer. I remember my grandmother oh, it was like some years ago she was like you've always been such an observant child and like i remember that when you were like a baby like you were just very quiet and like this is how i got the name mellow vibes right because my mom always told me i was super mellow like i barely ever cried and, was, and like my grandma's like you, you barely ever <laughs> cried wine you were very observant you sat quietly and you watched people so i'm an observant person so it makes me like aware of a lot of things i pay attention i'm listening I'm not listening to respond. I'm not listening to, you know, whatever. I'm actively um, paying attention to what you're saying, which also makes me a great hypnotherapist and life coach. So um, I remember uh, in college, the my first love, uh, he had mentioned before, like, he doesn't get Christmas gifts. It's not like his family didn't do Christmas. It's just like basically they never really gave him specifically Christmas gifts, which it seems it seemed really mean, whatever. And I knew what his favorite things were. So like over, I remember over Christmas break, I made a care package for him of all his favorite things and sent it to him. And I remember he called me and was like, Tiffany. And I was like, what? He's like, thank you so much. And like he was so emotional about it. And um, you know that goes a long way <laughs> being a listener. <laughs> So those are my those are my tips. Those are some quick dating tips. 
I mean, they're not even, I don't even think they're even dating tips. They're just kind of life tips because this is just like how I treat, this is not me going into the dating scene. Like I'm doing these things. This is just how I interact with people. So this is, these are just people interaction tips. Okay. So, um, I hope you, you know, take something from what I said and can like incorporate that and, and maybe think about like, um, you know, how that would be helpful in you just building relationships with anybody. So yeah. Uh, enjoy your day. I'm going to get to work. <laughs> so peace and mellow vibes.